Many traditions we celebrate today have been the result of our immigrant ancestors, such as the case with the first Christmas tree in Worcester, Ohio. August Imgard was born in Wetzlar, Prussia on the 8th of January, 1828. He departed from the port of Le Havre, France on the ship Zurich. He arrived in the port of New York, New York on the 15th of September, 1848 at the age of 20 years. Upon arriving in the United States, he traveled to Worcester, Wayne County, Ohio, where he settled and remained until his death on the 7th of October, 1904. August M. Gard married Jeanette Nolte on August 28, 1849 in Wayne County, Ohio. Their first child, Catherine Elizabeth M. Gard, was born on June 28, 1850. Other children born to this union were Harry Augustus M. Gard, born April 7, 1859, Gertrude Juanita Imgard, born July 28, 1866, and Jeanette Augusta Imgard, born March 27, 1870. These children with their birthdays were listed in the Imgard Family Bible. August Imgard built a house now located at 527 Bell Avenue in Worcester, Ohio, sometime between 1867 and 1873. This house was originally located on the southeast corner of Bell Avenue and Bowman Avenue and was moved in 1913 to its current location. It is now the parsonage of St. Mary's Catholic Church. In his obituary found in the Downton Gazette on October 13, 1904 on page 4, Imgard's house was described as, quote, one of the most elegant homes in Worcester, end quote. The obituary continued to state, Imgard, quote, took pride in his home and the beautiful grounds of his homestead, end of quote. Imgard was a trailer by trade. On his arrival in Worcester, he set up a small tailoring business in Worcester. The tailor shop was located on Worcester's Public Square, the main business hub of Worcester during the 19th century and the early to mid 20th centuries. Imgard was considered a, quote, very industrious man and a very successful in his business, end of quote. The story is told that as Christmas neared, Imgard became homesick. He decided to bring one of his homeland traditions to his new home. He crossed a little apple creek and cut down a small blue spruce tree. As he carried the tree across the creek and to his new home, many of the locals gazed at the unusual spectacle, perplexed by what they saw. Imgard had a local tinsmith make him a star for the top of the tree. Imgard decorated the tree with candles and paper, ornaments, apples, candies, nuts, and popcorn for family and friends to enjoy. The tradition caught on and spread through the area. To honor this tradition, a blue spruce tree can be found next to his final resting place at the Worcester Cemetery.